Um, yes, I think that ADHD, if we think of it as a disease, <laughs> um, which which is the way we think of anything we treat with medication that's diagnosed by a doctor. Um, cure probably isn't the best word because, because we do show evidence that children who have ADHD, as they get older, the ADHD seems to be, seems to interfere less in school, seems to interfere less in other aspects of their life. But there are adults who will tell you they have ADHD who are extraordinarily successful adults. So I'm not sure that we want to, quote, cure it. What we want to do is enable students to control their attention so that they can attend in a very focused way when they need to, but also maintain the energy and the open attention that's part of ADHD that might be associated with creativity or might be associated with productivity in adulthood. Um, and there's a great deal of research and a great deal of discussion in the neuroscience community about moving away from thinking of ADHD as a disease and thinking about treating it solely with medication to managing it in a way that the, a person who has ADHD can be a very effective, successful adult, but not lose some of the advantages that open attention uh, might be able to give them. Well, there are two programs right now that have had what we call random controlled studies with att attention or di attention disorders. Um, and it's important to explain that a random controlled study is the way that we test a procedure or a methodology to make sure that we remove biases from the way we're looking at it. Um, and it means that you assign children randomly to a, one group and um, that don't get that intervention and you assign children randomly to another group that do and you compare the two um, and that way you're not biasing one, one approach or another. And the two interventions out there that have been shown with random control trials to be beneficial to attention are CogMed, um, which is essentially a, it's uh, published by a company called Pearson, and it's essentially um, a visual working memory series of computerized inter exercises, interventions. And the other is the Fast for Word programs, uh, specifically Fast for Word language, that was shown in a random controlled study in Portland at University of Oregon, or Oregon State, I think, um, Helen Neville's lab and Courtney Stevens were the researchers, was shown to be beneficial to attentional problems in children aged seven, around age seven, in general educational environments. Some of the children had attentional problems associated with language issues, and some of the children were typically developing, but both groups benefited from fast for word in a very objective test of attention where electrophysiological testing was done compared to a random control group where the children showed no benefit to attention at all through just general academic activities. Mm -hmm.